My name is Anthony Parts. I am a second year viola fellow at the New World Symphony. Um, this week I'm not playing a whole lot of viola. I'm doing all sorts of fun projects for the John Cage Festival. So the piece is, it's written for television performer, um, oddly enough, probably because it was originally done on I've Got a Secret back in the 50s. Um, but the two main instruments I would say used in the piece are traditional and not so traditional. We've got the piano, which at one point I actually play I play a D-sharp, seven chord on the piano, and that's pretty fun, but everything else that I do with the piano involves hitting it or plucking it or doing things inside the piano the entire time. Um, the other main instrument that I use is a bathtub, and I end up throwing a lot of things in the bathtub, striking the bathtub, um, pouring things on top of the bathtub. Um, aside from that, uh, let's see, I've got some rubber ducks, I've got... Um, a gong that I strike and then drop into the water, which makes a really cool diffusing sound on the gong. Um, I take a cymbal and I throw it into the water. I've got a blender. Um, a pressure cooker is one of the main instruments. I use that a lot. Um, I've got a whistle, a quail call, a goose call. Um, what else? I've got Campari. I've got soda. I've got ice. Uh, I've got... Oh, the pot of flowers. I've got the pot of flowers, of course, which I then water with a water can into, into the bathtub. Oh, and I've got an exploding thing. He says, exploding thing. Uh, what Cage actually wrote in the score is a breakdown in chunks of five seconds of what happens where. So you'll have kind of little pictures or words describing the action at little points. And it's very specific. And Cage walks around with, in the video of him actually doing it, walks around with a stopwatch just to make sure that he's on time for everything. Um, so I found in doing this that that was rather difficult um, to be looking at the score, looking at a stopwatch, and doing the actual action. And so I found an app, just a time scheduling app on the internet, and I programmed every action into that so that my phone will buzz every three or five or eight seconds, whenever it is that this is supposed to happen and tell me what's happening. And I don't think it's about the challenge for Cage. I mean, this isn't virtuoso music, you know? It's not about like, hey, let me see how well I can throw a fish into a bathtub. You know, I mean, it's... Um, it's really music that's about the aesthetic, about the, the overall appreciation of, of the art. It's not really a, a virtuoso demonstration of, look how fast I can do these things. The fact that it is difficult is, I think, coincidental. I don't think it's meant to be showing up. This is, I mean, Cage used to talk all the time about the tragedy of the human condition, of the American 1950s condition. And in one regard, I'm spending this entire piece running around uh, busily doing the errands of the day. You know, I, oh, I have to, I forgot I had to put the flower pot in there and then I'm watering the flower pot and then uh, the pressure cooker needs some releasing and then I hit this and then turn the radio on and then I'll turn the tape machine on as well. And uh, I deserve a drink at this point, so I'm gonna make myself a drink, but I don't have time to drink it yet, so I'm gonna get this and then I'm gonna take that and it's, it's, but all the time it's supposed to be, he wrote it for television performer. So it's supposed to be, I'm imagining this sort of idyllic, idyllic um, 1950s television family mom running around doing all these things, just like, oh, how lovely, I have to turn on the blender and then, oh, release the steam from this and now I'll strike the gong and throw it in there. And I'm through all of this, I've kind of decided that my interpretation should be to criticize that 1950s, that silent generation um, family, that, that uh, suppression of real human emotion for the busyness of their, of their real life. And so, I'm going to be sort of, as a 1950s television presenter, like very graciously doing this and doing that, and then I'm going to turn this on and here's the gong and throw it in there. But hopefully in a sort of sarcastic, 